Hey, what's up? This is Marcus from Machine City Audio. And today we're gonna to take a look at a couple of the plugins from the new SSL native bundle that was just released probably about a couple weeks ago from the makers of the SSL. All right, so we're gonna take a look at one of the plugins that I really couldn't wait to try when I first heard this bundle was released and that is the drum strip. Now I love being able to manipulate drums and I found that this works really well on loop drums if you happen to work with loop drums at all or make loop drums. All right, so we're not gonna talk about the gate section today because I didn't use that on these drums. As I said before, they are loop drums. So we're gonna come straight down to the bottom and take a look at the low frequency enhancer section. Now the amount is gonna control the amount of processed signal that you blend in with the unprocessed signal. Next to that, we have a band that lets you dial in the frequency that you want to enhance. Then to the right of that, we have the drive knob and the drive knob is gonna add weight and depth, and this controls the actual amount of harmonic content that you're getting. And the same goes for the high frequency as well. They're pretty much the same way, except for that's the high frequency. Next to that, we have the listen mic compressor, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we have to where you can switch the narrow band. The comp controls the actual amount of compression that you'll be getting. Next to that, we have the makeup gain, we have the dry wet knob so you can blend in and signal. Above the compressor section, we have the transient shaper. So some of the features on this is uh, the invert. If you have that engaged, this is gonna soften the transients. When you have the listen engaged, this lets you hear the process signal and how you know the transients are being affected. The speed, this is gonna control the actual length of the transient. So if you want a longer, slower transient, then you can turn this all the way to the right and that's gonna give you a slower, longer transient. If you want a faster, shorter transient, like the way I wanted to snap on the drums and kick and I want that transient to come back real fast, then you wanna make sure the speed is really fast. All right, again, the amount is gonna control the amount of process signal you're adding to the unprocessed signal. And then you have the gain knob. Now you do have a dry wet knob to control the overall drum strip so you can blend in how much of that you want overall. Now down at the bottom is what I really like and I really haven't seen another plugin like this, but you can control the routing of how this whole section is set up. So the way I have it set up is I have the low frequency, then the high frequency, then the transient shaper, and then the actual compressor. I already had this dialed in the way I wanted. I'm gonna go through the sections that I'm using and play around with it so you can hear exactly what section is doing. All right, so let's check this out.
All right, so the next plugin we're gonna take a look at is the Stereo Bus Compressor. And this is a Stereo Bus Compressor that you will find on the XL 9000K series consoles. Now me being a hip hop electronic producer, I'm always concerned about how these will handle low end without having a high pass filter on it. I think it did a pretty good job. It's just all about the settings. So you gotta make sure you get the right attack and release times. So let's take a look at some of my settings. I have the slowest attack that you can get on here, uh, fast release. I'm doing a four to one ratio. And honestly, I'm probably only getting about one dB of gain reduction. I'm not hitting it that hard at all. But I like what it does um, to the whole mix. You know, it actually adds some nice stereo width and it really adds that punch. So it does glue the track together as these are meant to. All right, so what I'm gonna do is play this on the two bus of this uh, instrumental and I'm gonna bypass it and engage it. All right, let's check it. Again, we took a look at a couple of the plugins that are in the new SSL native bundle. We took a look at the drum strip and we took a look at the SSL compressor. So definitely check these plugins out for yourself. There's a lot of plugins in the bundle. Uh, I believe you can do a subscription. You can buy them outright and you can also demo these plugins as well. All right, so I am Marcus with Machine City Audio. Peace and until next time.